So how did we find out about MV Realty? Well, actually we were doing a story on another company with a similar business model. A viewer called me and said, you know, I'm working for this company called MV Realty and I don't feel good about what they're doing, so I wanna to talk to you. So we went out and talked to her at length about the issues she had. I worked for MV Realty um, based out of Florida. Um, and I was a telemarketer. Our day-to-day -day was to make outbound calls to homeowners uh, and try to generate interest for MV Realty's home benefit program. And they gave us uh, basic scripts, like if somebody had objections or questions, um, things like that. They were paying homeowners anywhere on average from $400 to $1,000 for the opportunity to be their realtor in the future. Um, I started to have concerns uh, pretty soon after I was hired because they were basically locking homeowners into a 40-year contract. I thought it was wrong because we were to bait people, we were to be aggressive in our approach, and it was all about getting them transferred to an agent so that that agent could get them to say yes. It was a lot of high pressure uh, for anybody that we called. The contract runs with the land. So if you die, your heirs have to deal with this contract also for 40 years. And if they don't take up this contract within 60 days, they may have to pay a penalty. Now, what kind of deal is that? That's how I found you guys, because I went through the Registry of Deeds and I looked in MV Realty in Plymouth County and I found all these addresses in Brockton, that's how I found you guys, so. Did they talk about when you signed that contract, were you aware that you were signing over basically your mortgage for 40 years that you would have to, no matter what, use MV Realty to sell your home? I was surprised, because um, in my mind, it was when I get the money, I needed that money, and then I said, oh, Look at how they got me to get that money because I wouldn't lug this for 40 years. We've been working down this list here. This is a list of people, homeowners, who have made a deal with MV Realty in the last 12 to 18 months. This is just in Brockton, Massachusetts, and we just walked out of the home of a couple uh, homeowners who signed a deal with MV Realty last summer for $1,300, and I asked them some specifics of what they knew about the deal. And the alarming thing is that they had no idea that they were basically selling away their rights to find a realtor for 40 years. Now I contacted a real estate attorney here in Massachusetts. This guy's been in real estate law for almost two decades. He started in 2003 and he admitted he had never heard of MV Realty. He had never really heard of a business model that did anything like this. And he was more than a little alarmed when we showed him some of the details in this contract. I asked him, what would he tell somebody who comes to him asking what they should do if MV Realty called and wanted them to sign this contract? And he said straight up, I would advise that client to not sign with MV Realty. We're about to go in and sit down and talk to this guy, get his legal opinion about what MV Realty is doing and some of their business practices as well. What, when you looked at MV Realty and what they were doing with their business model, what was alarming to you about it? Homeowners may not understand the gravity of the situation. They're receiving a few hundred dollars and they could be bound for several thousand dollars down the road. In Greater Boston, the median sales price of a home is $763,000. 3% of that is close to $23,000. So a homeowner could later be on the hook for $20,000 plus in order to do a cash out refinance, in order to sell their property, or if they pass away, the family may be on the hook for $23,000 when they go to sell the property. So we've been hearing from advocates around the country that were contacted by homeowners who learned that there was something on the title to their house and they were being required to pay some fairly large amount of money, usually because they had gotten into the process of selling the house and in the midst of that process been told there's a lien on your house. After the death, there's a very short time period in which the probate, uh, the, the executor or um, administrator for the estate has to assume this contract. I'm Emily Turner. I work for Action News Jax. I'm our investigative reporter. Right now, we're at the home of a woman who signed a contract with MV Realty and they filed a lawsuit against her. This woman literally Googled, I need money. 
And a couple of days later, MV Realty is calling her. sound really sweet that they would give me $600 or so uh, for being their realtor. And I had no idea to sell and no feeling or inkling of an idea that I would be selling my home. But you know, like next year came and then the whole different situation and you find yourself selling your home or wanting to sell your home and you find that you're caught in a 40 year contract. Did you have any idea you were signing a 40-year deal? 40-year deal? Not at all. What went through your head? What were you feeling when you heard that? I was devastated. I was like, well, I'm pretty certain, you know, that's just that and I can get out of it. But you cannot get out of it. They came after her. They filed a lawsuit and they're suing her and they're saying, uh, if you want out of this contract, you have to pay $7,800 for the $650 that they gave her the year prior. And we also talked to her attorney, who's representing her in the case, who says that she shouldn't have signed the contract in the first place because she's disabled, she has a traumatic brain injury, she told the notary she didn't want to do it. How, how is this deal, I mean, they're claiming they're a real estate agency. How is what they're doing different than what a regular real estate agent would do? If you're a legitimate real estate company, and maybe they are, I don't know, but you would have a bunch of agents throughout Jacksonville, and you would, you would not have them sign this contract. You would have enough faith in your company. You don't need to put people in these predatory contracts. I mean, this is one of the problems I have is because it's like, you know, a piece of yarn that you start tugging on and the whole sweater comes unraveled. There's just so much as you start to learn. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's the, the element of the state attorney's office. There's the real estate. There's the victim. There are the attorneys involved. There are the homes. Where? What part of town are these in? I think this Cox Media investigation, I think the strength of this investigation with all our stations will show how widespread this is, that the homeowner is not told up front what this deal is all about, that it's a payday loan. No, it's a grant. No, it's just free money. It's not, hey, we want you to sign a 40-year deal to sell your house sometime in the far future, and if you don't, the penalty will cost you thousands and thousands of dollars. I think that's the strength of this investigation. says it there clearly on like the fifth page, you know, 40 years. I was just looking for a quick payday loan that could pay off within the next two weeks. And at the time you could, you could use it. When you found out that you were locked into a 40 year contract, what did you think? 40 years for $1,300, that's, um, that's not a lot of money for such a long commitment. Did this company ever identify its program to sell your house? It's a program to sell your house? No, never, never even mentioned that at all you know and it felt like I was not on the side of right even though I was but I felt like you know I didn't deserve this and I did call them and explain to them and you know even ask that what can I do to you know make it right because I need to sell my home. In the past few months we've learned a lot about how MV Realty does business and it's hurt or could hurt a lot of local homeowners here in Central Florida. What we found out is there have been at least 60 lawsuits filed in county court against homeowners who had signed these contracts. So I first learned about this more than two years ago when an attorney that I know called me concerned about an elderly woman in a really tough spot. And then he first told me this name, NV Realty. And I actually picked up the phone, called down to Orlando to tell Ulrich, and he had just heard about them around the same time. Today we talked to an attorney for Atlanta Legal Aid. We called them because it turns out they've been doing a lot of the same research that we have. They've spent months looking into NV Realty. You can only file one of those once, once you file a lawsuit. The first time you read this contract as an attorney, what did you think? I thought this is an incredibly dense, complex agreement in tiny print. The, the actual contract is in tiny print, <laughs> uh, filled with legal jargon 
that is difficult for an attorney who's not a real estate attorney to understand, much less a, a you know your average homeowner. So in your mind, there's some question as whether this is even legal under Georgia law. There is some question in my mind, yes. And the way those contracts are written, you say you as an attorney are confused. Yes, yeah. Um, yes, it took... So I will show you my magnifying glass that I used to read the, this is what I used to read the contracts. You had to pull out the magnifying glass. I had to pull out the magnifying glass to read the contract. You know, over the years you learn if you get a couple of clients who call you about the same thing, you know, it's probably the tip of an iceberg. For a promotion of 800 and some odd dollars, if you agree to list with our agent, then you can keep the $800 and you list with us. With the market changing and uh, we saw the value of the properties going up, we decided to go ahead and uh, list our house on the market. The real estate agent says, ho, ho, wait, 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 we got to lean on your property. I found out a few days before closing, when you're trying to get in contact with any person from MB Realty, it's very hard. The verbiage was pretty much the same as if it was script from the first person to the second person. I come to realize that when, I, when you try to call MB Realty, you will not get an answer. The day that we did close, I came back to our property to uh, check my mail, to drop off the remote for the garage door. And while my girls, my wife, and I was at the driveway, a sheriff pulls up, walks up, walks up the driveway and asks, uh, may I speak with Ira Doran? I said, yes, I'm Ira Doran. And he served me papers right there in front of my kids. So this is a legal agreement, a 40 year deal, and there are ways to get out of it, but they're all gonna cost you money, whether that's a percentage of the sale of your home or an equivalent amount of money. So this is gonna cost people a big dollar amount to get out of, no matter which way you slice it. Hi, my name is John Bedell, and I'm the lead investigative reporter at WHIO-TV in Dayton, Ohio. I wanted to investigate this for people here in the Dayton area to be able to show people in my community how this business doing business here in the Miami Valley is impacting people right here in our viewing area. So I interviewed a guy named Charles Meredith. He lives here in Dayton. He had a guy from MV Realty show up on his front porch. He traded $500 for signing this contract. When did you first hear from MV Realty? Uh, I don't, it, it was probably around uh, last year sometime. They come uh, knocking on the door. Were you looking, were you in a position where you needed some, some money at that time? Some quick cash, did it sound like a good deal to you? Uh, well, I didn't really need it, but uh, it did sound like a pretty good deal. But uh, it, it, they, they didn't say it was, uh, you know, a uh, contract type of thing. They, they, they said if, 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 we, if we decided to sell, if we, if, if we could use them, they would appreciate it. We found 33 people total in Montgomery County, which is where Dayton is here in Ohio, who have entered into agreements, contracts with MV Realty. We found that by digging through court and property records here in Montgomery County. My name is Brandon McLean. And aside from you being the recorder, give me some of your other credentials that are, are pertinent to what we're talking about here. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I'm a former mer member of the court uh, as a magistrate judge. I'm an attorney and I'm also a real estate agent. A consumer standpoint for folks in Montgomery County, what should people be aware of? <laughs> uh, Any time that anyone approaches you with an agreement that could affect your ownership interests or your property rights, I would advise any and everyone to proceed with caution. Recognize that there is, uh, that old adage has some truth to it, there is no such thing as something for nothing. Everything has a cost and so when anyone approaches you with an agreement you need to make sure that your interests are represented and reflected in the manner that you want them to be because that person who approached you with that agreement, they've checked on theirs. MV Realty does maintain that what they do is legal. In fact, the Ohio AG's office told us they have not gotten any complaints about them and they could not confirm nor deny any investigations. But we do know that at least uh, two attorneys general 
here in the United States are uh, looking into MV Realty. And while the Ohio AG's office told me they don't have any complaints, the Ohio Division of Real Estate and Professional Licensing here in Ohio did tell me they do have four complaints involving MV Realty. I am Jason Stujanke, the Action 9 Consumer Reporter with WSOC-TV here in Charlotte, and we were in Winston-Salem, North Carolina today. That was part of the big pull for us to come, you know, to move. My father passed away, and uh, we had extended family that was living with us that was moving out. All of a sudden, the house was larger than what we needed. So we've always wanted to have um, land. We've always wanted to have some property that's out away from, from uh, you know, other people. And this, we came across this house, and we knew it would be perfect for us. We were looking for a short-term small loan, and in doing so, uh, apparently my information was sold, and MV Realty actually reached out to us and said, we'll give you the money and you never have to pay it back. This woman signed a contract with MV Realty. She knew that she had to use them if and when she went to sell her home. She says she contacted them when the time came, but that days passed and... I decided to um, utilize a realtor that I was actually familiar with who was assisting me in buying this house. In their contract, it states that they can file a Liz Pendens on your home. They essentially made it so that I would not be able to sell the house unless I settled with them. So she breached the contract and uh, ended up having to pay $14,000. It's an incredible amount of money, especially when you're middle class working America. And I, I don't know anyone that has that kind of money sitting in a savings account, um, much less to fork over to MV Realty. We're here to educate folks, to let them know. They may still want to use MV Realty. They may still feel this is a good deal. They may feel the money up front is worth it and that if they have to use these folks as realtors over the next 40 years, then, then that's what they'll do. Uh, but we just wanna make sure folks know that so they know what they're getting into. It doesn't hurt to have the information and be armed with the facts going into this relationship. I'm Angie Moreski. I'm the investigative reporter here in the Pittsburgh area at WPXI TV. In Pennsylvania, it's different than some of the other cities around the country that our other stations are finding. What we're doing today is we're knocking on doors and trying to talk to homeowners who we found have mortgages, liens on their property with MV Realty. Everyone we've talked to so far had no idea that MV Realty put a lien on their property. So did you sign a real estate contract, what you thought was a real estate contract with a company called MV Realty? Is there something wrong with this? Well, here's the deal. So basically, they, they convince homeowners to sign this agreement with them for a few hundred dollars, but then they put a lien on your property that if you ever sell your house, you're going to owe them the money, like 6%. Does this ring a bell? Yeah, yeah, it does. So did they explain all this to you? Did you know there was a lien on your property? No, I didn't know there was a lien. I would not I would have never agreed to that if I knew there was a lien. Yeah. Did you know it lasts for 40 years? No, I did not. No, I didn't. What's your reaction? I don't, that's not, it's not good. I got my head spinning right now. Oh, you're really taken aback. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine. I can see by the look on your face, you're just yeah. like, what is going on? seems like there are a lot of ways for this fee, this termination fee, so-called termination fee, to be triggered that make that the most likely scenario, much more likely than the company actually acting as a listing agent, which makes it feel like this is a disguised loan. That is always the question, is this legal? And what I will say is, it, for me, it raises a lot of concerns about possible legal violations. And I feel like many of us are still in the process of trying to review that, and it could be different in different states. Here in Pennsylvania, in real estate, you're legally only allowed to sign a one-year contract with a homeowner. So these contracts, on their face, have a lot of legal issues. And the Attorney General here in Pennsylvania is looking into this, as well as Attorney Generals from around the country. 
When something is wrong, it drives me to try to find an answer, to try to make a difference, and that's what we're doing with this investigation. We're going to bring all of the information that we're finding to the attention of the state, to the Attorney General, and with the help of the stations around the country, this is going to be uh, basically spread out to many different cities around the country, and hopefully, together, we can have a great impact and make a difference.